Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adenike Oyetunela. Wow, yay! Thank you so much to all the returning subscribers. If you're just visiting here for the first time, I say welcome. Just a happy go. Um, amputee living in Lagos, um, you know, just sharing different experiences and things are happening every single day. So today, I'm going to the salon and I'm going to be sharing my experience. I'm going to color my hair, dye my hair, whatever it is. So I used to wear um, hair color for a few years and like two, two and a half years ago, I just grew it out and I never went back. But the thing about me and my hair color is that for every single time I will do something dramatic with my hair, maybe cut it or have a haircut or something, it always will be reminiscent of a face or a journey in my life. and. This year, 2021, I turned 35. This year, I have so much that is going on. And um, yes, I just want a semblance of excitement. So I am coming to the salon to have my hair colored. And um, I'll love you to join me. Okay, see you in a bit. Oh, before you guys go, what do you think about um, hair colors? I'm asking from the standpoint of everything, culturally, socially, and uh, yes, religiously. Somehow, I just believe that with hair coloring and tattooing, a lot of people associated with very funky things. So, um, I'll remember when I first colored my hair, you know, a few people raised their eyebrows in my, you know, um, kingdom community or religious setting or church setting and yeah i was just having fun and then i started to get tattoos and they're like what um so it's still very i think it's a very personal thing i think that this is not that deep if you ask me um, i remember my mentor uh, referred me to revelations and you know there's a part where it talks about jesus had on his thigh king of kings like anybody that disturbs you about your tattoo just tell them that even jesus had the tattoo i found it very hilarious but hey um that's where i find us at quite a number of people still cringe when they see people with colored hair and i i just i don't know what to say i just think that it's very funky so yeah this is one of my tattoos i love it i don't know i've been stalling i want to like two extra three extra and that's the thing about tattoos once you start stopping becomes a problem so they always tell you be very careful before you start because you might just never stop so yes what do you guys think about hair coloring um i just think it's fun i just think it's people just expressing themselves i don't think it's that deep i don't think that i'll miss whatever goodness you know um should accrue to regular people without hair color um two and a half years my life hasn't dramatically changed because i did not have hair color or at the point when I had hair color, you know, I think at the point when I had hair color, I could connect with quite a number of people who also would wear hair color. So, um, yeah, it's very funky how we inter interpret hair colors. But hey, that's not what we're talking about. I'm here to show you how I transform my hair from this, you can see on my gray, to whatever color I eventually come up with. So, see you guys soon. So this is the salon, Andrea Jason, and they're located in Lekki One. So yay, that was where I sat. So it was time for me to get started, and Miss um, Christelle was the one who did it under supervision. I'm from Eunice, who is in the abroad. I would add her picture to this. So I had to wear the robe so my outfit would not get stained, and um, all of the recording, and it was time to get started. So I have 100% um, virgin hair. So the first thing they have to do is to lift it because um, Eunice doesn't like bleach. And so they had to lift it with this. And then I waited for a few minutes. And then afterwards, um, you know, I'll wash it off because we wanted to get the very best result. So here was after washing. And then um, this is actually the application. Um, for the lifting and we had to apply it everywhere everywhere let me show you um, around the salon exactly once you get in there are two parts so this is one part um, there's another part so yeah Andrea Jason 
they say they are ring light now for pictures uh, you need social media I beg and then yes that's me did you get a glimpse of me in the mirror yeah the best part for me is this washing place oh my jesus the way they massage everything and you can do so much your nails your hair natural hair you your kids cut your hair so yeah so this is what happened after we took out um the lift and um whatever that thing they call it yeah after the process so it was time to add the color so this is the toner of the colors in the case may be and then we applied for a few minutes now the best part for me honestly is the wash the massage that miss christelle gave me my goodness i had to take out the audio unit was watching supervising all the way from the abroad and yeah so they'll take out the color and everything this was after i waited for about um over 35 minutes so the longer you wait the darker the color becomes and all of it yep you guessed right i had to change the mask after i was done washing and all of it so yeah they basically this is the color that we got so washing 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 and then we had to wash some more and we had to be very careful so wash done um now she's showing me what to do every day don't wash every day you know all of that stuff um she's cleaning and then i had to get this um coil texture thingy for mizani that's it yeah so yay yo you guys look see my new hair color huh so i've just done at the salon and i spent yeah well over two hours but i enjoyed the service they they did not just what's it called use bleach which i'm used to because you know i would always say i wanted the colors to be bright i wanted it sharp sharp but they had told me that they would do something called lifting lift you know and then we did that the first time and um then added the color waited and then massaged my scalp my head and i left with um a true texture coils and coils and waves yes so i'm excited about this journey because they've also told me the do's and the don'ts don't wash your hair every day when you're taking a bath i'm like ha huh. so i will not be washing my hair every day when i take a bath they've also recommended um a shampoo and a conditioner which i'll be getting and then a soft brush because she's very particular about my natural coils so I, I told her that I have dandruff and then she told me that no, she's certain I do not have dandruff, that what I have most probably dry scalp and that um, the best way to do it is to apply um, stuff like this and then seal it with oil and you know, I'm good to go. But yeah, so I'm excited about this new journey. Um, this is one of the quickest, no, this is one of the finest and um, most enjoyable hair coloring or dyeing experience that i've had and you know it's intriguing to me to see how people would react to my new color everybody probably knows me with gold blonde i originally was going to do platinum but then the powers that be so exciting um next few days exciting next few weeks um your girl is gonna be turning 35 in a few weeks but remember that before i went in for the experience i had mentioned to you guys um perception how people perceive persons who have hair colors persons who have tattoos persons who have locks persons who wear anklets or waist beads and the list kind of seems endless and i feel very strongly that these are just unnecessary parameters that we use to stifle people especially in our relationship with them so if you're like me please by all means go out knock yourself color your hair blue whatever color excites you and brings you so much joy this is a new season for me um my hair is usually reminiscent of the different faces that i've been through in the last few years so um thank you for being here with me i hope you just also enjoy that I've just been honest with you about my hair color um, before I even got married for instance what's it called my parents never had a problem let me share something with you my, on my 18th birthday I think I actually colored my hair if not this color something close and I remember my mom asking me what I wanted 
as a birthday gift i just told her that i wanted to color my hair and she said oh go ahead so it's been a long time coming for me my parents never stifled me i was never in a relationship where that was a problem though now uh mr l doesn't particularly like hair colors so i'm hoping that it's the blonde he hasn't seen me yet but hey um you know everybody just always knew me with color i would braid my hair i would also braid the color so from the blonde and now to this shade i'm ex you know i'm excited and the, the new journey um i believe very strongly that if you're a child and you still live with your parents you may not be fortunate enough to have parents who would allow you the liberty you know of coloring your hair so gotta chill until you get a place of your own or you can whatever it is you know to get the hair color so yeah hair color hair color hair color um what is your response and how do you feel about people who have hair color very honestly for some of us we've had to evolve over time did you at any point in time think it was judgmental you know how you just see people with hair color and say ah only run only shake ye because they have hair color were you ever like that it's okay to actually be honest and say i was once this way um we're all learning we're also all on learning and we're evolving let me know what your thoughts are um thank you for joining me in, and you know my beautiful outfit by cotton loops on instagram they are a sustainable business i'm so excited about it i will try to post a good picture so you see i also had my nails done and changed it to white hair white is just it the name of the salon i went to i'm sure i've also put it on there please pay them a visit it's a different experience when you color your hair with people who understand what it is the chemicals involved and the safety measures so i had a good experience thank you so much for watching this far thank you for being a part of my youtube family thank you for the likes the comments the shares the subscribing make it never stop um so this is my hair color hair color hair color hair color nothing grand see you guys soon i love you bye Mwah.